Good morning. So here is a quick rundown of Google Classroom as you could use it for counseling. Uh, so as you guys can see, I've created different pages for each of the different grade levels. Um, and so the class of 2022 has been pretty robust in their use of Google Classroom. What Google Classroom is, is it's a uh, site sort of like Blackboard, but a little more user friendly and a little more intuitive. Uh, so let's go on the class of 2022. So in each Google Classroom, the way you would join a Google Classroom is you go into classroom.google.com, as indicated up here, you click the plus button, and then you click join class. And you'll have a different class code. So each class code is located within the class. So let's look at class of 2022 again. Here's the class code. And in each class, you've got a few different things. You've got stream, and this is where pretty much everything goes. Um, so you can see that Kenny Torres is using this to create some announcements. I added some information to help students understand how to access Google Classroom. We've also got classwork, and so here would be where you would, might create where you locate your information. Uh, you also have people, so these are all the people who have added into the class of 2022, um, and there will be multiple teachers. I'll add all of you guys in there as teachers so you can add information, but here's all the students, and here's grades. For your purposes, you won't be using this. So let's go to classwork. In classwork, if you click create, this is where you can add information that you want students to look at or take care of. So you'll probably be using material because I'm imagining you're not assigning specific things. Um, so in material, you can go here and you can set create, you know, um, important dates. And if you wanted to add a Word document, you click on the little paper clip and it'll direct you how to attach that. If you wanted to add uh, something that you create in Google, you can add it there. YouTube video here, and then lastly, you can just add a link from somewhere else. If you want to create topics, you can create a topic. So if you are having them look at, I don't know, college night or something like that, you can add that there. And when you post, it will post here, and it also posts in your stream. I'm going to delete this since this is not for anybody. Um, you can also, if you wanted it to be something that students filled out, you can create it as an assignment and that will give students the opportunity to fill things out and turn them in. There's a class drive folder so that each child has a folder where they can access all the information. And there's also a Google Calendar where if you assign something or make it a question, let's say it's a question, how are you? When you put a due date in, that puts it into the calendar has to have a due date to go in the calendar at this point. We're hoping that that changes in the future. Um, please let me know what other questions you have, but this is a great way that students are already accessing to distribute information, to give students access to important files, um, and to get students engaged in what's going on with their class. Thank you.